car cart, you know what I mean? And it's something like I'd always eat it, trying to show how cool I was. I had some people who thought they were too cool for school, being taught something. Yeah, and the word before that was scare. Uh, language was there, but I asked my pendulum, and that didn't even have any relevance to this message, but scare and classroom is. I mean, for somebody listening, that could mean something specific for you if you're a teacher or if your kids um, are in school. But I feel like there's some people who thought that they were intimidating and, and they have lived their lives off of putting fear into other people in whatever way that was, are being sat down right now. Um, they're being forced to take a class, I guess maybe on real, uh, like, we'll see, we'll see what it is. I love you guys, I'm philosophical. Click the like button for me. Um, less these people, um, maybe they could have thought that they were, you were lesser than them. I might have done that. There's some people who, uh, who've who done, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to just say the same, like similar one, two, three. There are people who are being forced to re reflect and not deflect and say, okay, so maybe I've done that. All right. And it's a difficult thing. And that is something that will actually put you in the dark night of the soul is starting to realize just how imperfect you were and how judgmental you were. Um, you know, yeah, real quick. So this could be someone in particular. Uh, for you guys that you're dealing with, or this could just be a whole bunch of people. All right. I'm going to start with... Which ones? Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry. All right. Mm. Cast away negativity and success in the reverse. There's people who were throwing some negative energy towards you guys, no doubt, that are trying to get rid of that energy and it's not working. If they were sending any kind of spell work or voodoo or santeria or anything, just even just nasty shit wishing bad on you, you get caught. Um, they can't get rid of it. Rebirth is also in the reverse. This is like people who don't deserve a second chance as far as the universe goes. <sighs> Tell me what's up today, please. Tell me what's up, ancestors, spirit guides. What, what's up? What's going on since this moon? What is some of the stuff that's happening? Tell me what's happening, please. Thank you. Oh, confidence in the reverse. Is this what they were trying to attack? I don't know. I feel like a lot of these people that were attacking you guys were very confident that this was going to work because this, you were just another victim to these people. It's hard to look back. It, it's going to be difficult for some of these people, man, that are going to have to sit there and go over and assess their life. And, 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 you know, we tend to conveniently forget all of the dirt that we've done to other people, especially good people that were in our lives. Give me three letters, please, even if these are first initials of these people who lack confidence. E.T. <laughs> That's also extraterrestrial. So when you, if you're an alien being and you know this, that you come from another galaxy... You don't need anybody to confirm this shit. You just, you're starting to remember who you are. Uh, it could be for you, but there definitely uh, could be somebody whose name begins with E or T. U or P. I see men in here. Let's just do that. So N or H, U, P, E, or T. These could be names of some people that you were dealing with. Or it could be your name. Put it how it fits. Let me see what this is. A person who won't take things lightly all the time. 
loves to have fun, and is easy to tease. A person with a great, charming smile. All right. A pretty, smart, charming girl. All right, let's find out who this is. If this is you, Divine Family, because you're all woman. Let's find out. Tell me about this uh, this female, about this energy, this, this charming charisma. It sounds like a childlike, like innocent life, like I have fun. Virgo, you could definitely be a Virgo. But I also feel like this is you by yourself. There could be some people who thought that you were only confident when you were around other people, or if you're on a platform, they could only they could think it's a front. Like there's no way that this person with all this negative energy, five five five, that we're sending this person, that they could really still be like this. They could be like coming around you and finding out that you really just are like this all the time. Uh, it's a mindset that you have. It, it's the it's the way that you perceive things now has changed. So you don't you don't have the victim energy anymore because a lot of you did a lot of us did right. I feel like you you're this is your get down. If it doesn't work out for me, there's a reason. Either I'm the reason because I didn't do something right, or the universe, or my ancestors, guides, whatever it is you believe in, was holding something back because it knew that there was something um, that came with that that wasn't good for me, or that there was something else better. But this is you just like learning, sitting by yourself and being like, I, I don't really need anybody else in my life. I don't, I don't need anybody to validate how I feel about myself. Yeah, small. So these people wanted you to feel small. They wanted you to lack confidence. No. I can do this. Right. The, whatever this is that you're doing, there's a lot of people who wanted you to bail or, or like quit. Tell me about this hermit energy, please. Yeah, whatever this is that you do, this skill, you do it by yourself. You don't need anybody. I'm talking to somebody who uh, you have a business, you work alone, you work better alone, and these people are watching you. You could be a speaker. Yep, yep. And th this is here, this is also detective. Like, whatever you do for work, you, you see things others don't, right? Yeah. Th look at this. This is the the... This could be a detective as well. There could be some people that were confident that, it, or you were confident that there was detectives watching you or protecting you, and there could be some other people that didn't believe it. These people trying to sabotage you. You're way too gifted. It's like these people want you to give up on your spiritual path. What are you talking about? Like that wasn't even for me to, to say so. The universe woke me up. What are you gonna do with that? Eight eight minutes. What do you, you go go take it out with the universe if you have a problem with that? And some of them may have thought they were ballsy enough to do that. And that ain't gonna work out well for you. Mm -mm. You missed the boat. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. So your, situ right, your situation right now may not be the ideal situation, but maybe it's not as bad as it used to be, or it's not as bad as it could be. You're probably super grateful. You probably took the L. You lost everything. I'm talking to people who went through the dark night of the soul, and you have a whole new perspective on life. Nothing is ever happening to me. It's happening for me. I don't force anything anymore. I understand that gratitude is, is the best form of magic and belief. Gratitude and belief, right? Being grateful for the small things that you have so that you can bring in the big things. It's, it's people, we, do, we were taught to do it backwards. We were taught that you only get happy when you actually have the things and that's what the matrix wanted us to think, right? Because I mean, most of us are master manifestors. Most of us, um, especially if you're uh, a star seed or just an empath or whatever, you're grateful for everything. I remember when I was in that that house that I didn't realize why I was there yet right and my friend's father that passed away he he would say to me something he was he was a narcissist like he he was a sociopath you know but I I was getting through to him um and I want to talk to you guys too about is it possible to heal a misogynist right um I was getting through to him but the, it, it would like agitate him that I would say thank you for every little thing. He'd be like, here, you know, and then his, his son would see him doing that and he saw him changing. So then he told him to stop talking to me, right? But he goes, stop saying thank you all the time. And, and I, it like, why? You know, and I actually like thought, do I say it too much? You can never say thank you too much. 
all right? Every time you say thank you, it puts some shit out into the universe. Be grateful for every small thing, everything. Um, where would you be? Well, let's just say you have water running through somewhere, but 1010, but the actual sink doesn't work. So now you have water, but you know, you don't realize how important it is to have the spigot, the faucet, right? I'm, I'm from Philly, so we call it spigot. It's horrible. But so with the thing, I also want to talk to you, um, I guess for everybody, can you heal and change a massage in this perspective? I'm going to say yes, because I'm doing it. All right. I remember in the beginning, like I told you that I, you know, Brian and I, like we, we, we have a bond that can't be broken, no doubt. But I had to heal him from years and years of emotional abuse from his mother. Narcissistic abuse that he didn't see because when it's coming from a parent, you don't call it abuse unless they're putting their hands on you. And I got him to open up and talk about some things by myself, talking about things that happened when I was a kid. I don't know, somebody's pension could be getting taken away. Um, I guess that'll come out if it needs to, but right now I just want to tell you guys the amount of respect that he has for me at this point, because I didn't realize in the beginning that he was a misogynist too, you know what I mean? I'm very honest on my channel, and so I broke it off, and I just said, you know, I don't really even want to be with anybody, because I realized what, what, what I am here to do, I can't be distracted by relationship shit, any kind of stress. I have to be focused all the time. And he's cool with that. So we learned to now go back to the bond that we had before we were dating. Because that's just a title, right? It doesn't mean like we can't still be there for each other. Um, saying that you're dating and then friends, it's like, why does that? That's supposed to be one, right? So that's what we're doing. And I feel like instead of people looking at it like, oh, that's how it should be. People, some people are like pissed off about it, like 12 minutes. But it's okay if you had that in your relationship, right? If, if I was looking at somebody do this, I would think, damn, like that's actually a great idea. Why would we go back? Why would we just not speak at all? Or even worse, go about talking shit about each other and splitting up when we were friends first. The, the people that don't like it, you're just broken or you're mad that you don't have that and you know you won't have that. That's all I can say. So, but this is why I feel like I am actively changing a narcissistic misogynist perspective all right a lot of these guys is the male misogynist because there's female misogynists too it's just a hatred for females but they have never been around a female that will treat them with respect and let them fail and not judge them they usually were judged everything they did was like oh god by their mother and then they wind up attracting those types of women as well because they think that that's what typical, like, they think that that's what um, healthy love is like from a woman. The kind of love they got from their mother. And it's not. So this is why. And then a divine feminine, a healer, will be eventually thrown into the mix to show them that this is actually how a woman treats a man, right? You don't knock him when he makes mistakes. And then, and then wonder why now all of a sudden he's um, avoiding you or ignoring you because everything that he does wrong, you fucking literally like like throw him in jail. Something you real literally it happened, but you know he needs to see these misogynists need to see that there's another type of female energy and that they're not all like his mother. All right. So yes, I I firmly believe that. So let's get into this some more. I just wanted to say that. Let's get one of these. What's this? Dozen. Pension, some determined pension, restaurant and small. Hold on a second. Let me ask some things here. Yeah, this isn't 1970. Some of these mothers and stuff, like um, their belief system is from too long ago, you know. And and they're and maybe they're saying since 1970, like a lot of women have changed. They just became kind of a. Uh, it's like resentful. I, I, there's a lot of females that like resent men because of either husbands cheating or leaving and then they, they take that out on their sons and then their sons become resentful with women. It's just real toxic. All right, let me see something here. Somebody's pension is, is being taken because of the sum. If this person owes or, or did any kind of tax fraud or, 
or they just owe, let's just say that they stole something from somebody. Somebody's gonna have to give it back for their pension. Son, somebody's son will have to do this. Or somebody's gonna have to give their son their pension. There could be a parent that, that took money. Okay. Somebody's pension's getting taken and they owe it to their son. All right. They could have used up their entire pension to do something to try to stop or, or sabotage something for their own son too. Rest, queen. But I feel like um, this is... This could be a karmic mother here. She lacks confidence. What do you... I'm going to prove it. Something is, maybe you're proving this divine feminine or whoever's listening that something happened with this mother and some money. Give me some initials for this mom, please. Oh, Z, Zach. This could be Zach. I don't hit my face in the ground anymore. So somebody fell face first with this. There's Z here twice. I want to see if this is a, a mother of a Zoe or a son. This is a, a Zoe, okay? But this could just be, this could be Zach because there's Z and K and Z and C. This one got knocked out. Yeah, Zach. Wow. People getting hit so hard, it's almost permanent. So somebody's getting knocked down a peg or six. Four. What's up with four? Rest and four. Overseas. Go to jail. Uh-oh. I mean, I don't know. This could be some overseas money transfer. Somebody could have also paid some money to have their son leave because they could be being investigated sober and do not need to prove it to anyone but myself. So I don't know how these would come out together. For somebody listening, maybe you live overseas and you watch my channel and this is for you. person could have done something to a female drinking yeah or wine they could have been out drinking or something like that amethyst purple could mean something but this these are like for me like that's like royal colors purple what is this oh my god what the fucking wind a bullet wound somebody's son is being investigated for murder loud cloud school and loud there could have something could have happened near a school and it was like loud and maybe people I don't know could have heard something hmm. first off I see that there are people from overseas doing spell work on somebody and you guys are going to wind up dying overseas that's just that but they could have had a whole team or something like that this feels like somebody's mom was connected to a corp a business like a big business genius who are you oh my god you're a genius oh my god you're a genius when you solved the case did you figure something out about something that happened with her son trafficking humans will 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 all right there may be um, a, fa a mother who's connected to a corporation in fact I feel like it's definitely that that maybe she didn't know her son got involved with some people that were trafficking humans but because of this she may have to use her pension or she may be getting fired or asked to leave with the team they could have like said we don't want you here anymore 
grounded. Yeah, it's like she's getting grounded, but it's it's by the universe. Let me get you. Yeah, asked to leave, asked to resign, asked to retire. I don't know if she's getting. Let me find out if she's getting her pension. Tell me if this female's getting her. Is she getting her pension? Maybe. So maybe I, I'm 2020. Um, I don't know if that's fair, but or her husband or something. They can't come find me. I feel like oh, with this. Could, I feel like this is a company. Maybe this mother was loyal to the company, but her son got caught up in something bad. That's what this is. So it's like, well, well, we can't have you connected to this because with the trafficking humans, this this may be public, and this company is afraid to even say that this this woman is connected. So it's like, I know that you were loyal. We'll give you your pension, but you need to leave. All right. So that's a message for somebody. Um, I guess whoever the genius is, you you expose this this what was going on with this mother or her son. Um, with the confidence in, in reverse, uh, this could be her son. I also think that you've been getting some energy sent towards you to make you doubt these gifts that you have. Doubt what, what messages you're giving out or just doubt what you what you know to be true. But the B though, B's represent prosperity. So this, you may be getting some kind of like payout, like an act of kindness for something. If this is a business that's a real big business and you expose somebody for getting involved with trafficking humans, this business may want to compensate you. They also may ask you to sign one of those, um, you know, whatever the fuck that is, don't speak about it. But basically paying you to keep quiet on something like don't 2222, don't say the name of our company or whatever like that. Okay. Somebody's being forced to do something, whether they like it or not, because um, of another person's gifts. What was on here? Pound and weather. Let's, let's see what comes up on here. Hail strikes. Um, pound and weather. They're talking about hail. There could be something with the weather somewhere. I remember saying that um, somebody was going to get struck by lightning. So. I don't know. Let's see. So. Oh, yeah. So this is somebody big and so. And whoa. So, um, somebody's reaping what they sow. That's no doubt. Somebody, I see, I see sun too. You're just trying to save the hood? I don't know. You could be the type of person that just wants to, like, make your neighborhood or your community better. And you're getting a lot of resistance, man. See and so somebody is seeing this is a big so though this is a good so so if this is a time for reaping what you sow and you so being a genius exposing something exposing something that had to do with trafficking humans there's something you're about to reap because of this bow somebody is going to be bowed they know they need to bow down to you what else is this? Fog, right? So that's the kind of energy that was being sent to you. Fog, lack of confidence, uh, second guessing your gifts, second guessing what you already knew, and, and we're telling people about this situation. With the coast, somebody's going to get pounded by weather on... Um, oh, you know what? I remember them saying that too, right? Weather and famous. Okay, so you about to be famous for something. Somebody's going to be famous for some shit. When it comes to trafficking humans. Um, I've been seeing videos on YouTube a lot where they show the real weather. Um, about how 
there's going to be like crazy weather along the coast of America. I didn't actually click on it, but that could be what they're talking about, is that if these people live on the coast, yeah, that may be another form of karma for somebody. They could have like a beautiful house like on the coast or like off the water or something like that, and they may get hit with some heavy ass weather. Remember I told you I had that dream where it seemed like I was in a condo, like a beautiful condo inside, and then all of a sudden the waves were actually like coming above the windows. It was like one, like it had to have been, it seemed like it was like a high rise, but I was on like one of the lower floors inside and all of a sudden like it just seemed like the whole bottom of it, you could see that the windows, it actually started coming through the windows a little bit. So that actually could have been something they showed me is about to happen to somebody. Hurry, hurry. So somebody could, uh, I don't know, was somebody going on a run or something? With the weather, hurry. Somebody could live in Florida. They're always having like hurricanes down there, right? I mean, the true spirit. Is somebody going to try and run or? Okay. Yeah, somebody's going to try and run from this. What else is new? People running from their mistakes, right? Spell work on you or your children. So if somebody's messing with spell work, they, their home or their house somewhere is going to wind up getting pounded with the weather and it's going to wind up destroying someone's home. Anyone doing spell work on me or my child, you will die. I just put that out there because that's the truth, motherfuckers. You don't have to believe me now. Uh, but you will. You'll die. All right, let's talk about firearms. All right, I feel like this is a different message that they want to put out. Is this a different message? Okay. All right, let's see who's connected to this. Let's find out who this dingbat is that's connected to, I guess, making them, smuggling them, trafficking them. Divine Feminine's mother. <laughs> what? What's your mother into, Divine Feminine? Are you kidding me here? Officially. I'll tell you what. Freak. Somebody may freak out because you could, they're freaking out. Is it Joseph and Xavier. They may be trying to run. So these two could have been friends with this son, Zach. The magic's disappearing. Uh oh. Tell me the true spirit. Is a Joseph and Xavier friends of that? Yeah, I feel like these two also had something to do with it. Tell me the truth. Did those two also know something about what happened? There's some people getting arrested. Mm -mm -mm. See, some of these people know that people got arrested and they're trying to leave. Others don't even realize that there's people that have been arrested and they've been telling a lot. All right, the whole time they've been sitting there watching another person and they've just been a sitting duck while someone's just regurgitating information about the shit that they've done. Let's see. Officially, Divine Feminine's mother. I don't know, man. Did your mother... Your mother could have paid somebody to do spell work on you, and these people also were caught up in some firearm shit, you know. Hold on a second, because I don't even know how this goes together, you feel me? Tell me about this Divine Feminine's mother. Did your mother die? Busted pipes. So there could be uh, some people that were doing spell work on you. Their houses could be, uh, it could be like, right, roofs leaking, electrical problems, plumbing problems. Was your mom doing death magic on you or something like that? I don't know. Divine Feminine's mother could have actually passed away from spell work. If she didn't, she's going to. Tell me the truth. Is this is this a Scorpio, Divine Feminine's mom or the Scorpio? No. Tell me the true spirit. Is this Divine Feminine's mom doing death magic or paying something? Tell me the truth. Did, did she do it herself? No. Tell me the truth. And these people are connected. Okay. 
Well, this is like karma, like you can't even believe divine feminine. I mean, there could have been a dozen different times that, that your mother actually paid somebody to do spell work on you, some death magic. And maybe these people that your mother paid are being investigated for this and it could have somehow came back that your mother is connected to these people doing this spell work on you. I never understand how mothers can do spell work on their children. Somebody's mom's going to die because of the shit. Yep. And so it's a karmic mother. She's a liar. She's a thief, right? That's your mom here. Wow. Hurry up and get in the car. Yo, I just feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to run again. Because they're finding out some more about shit being uncovered or people getting locked up and people are trying to pack up and roll. Your mom is a con woman for who I'm speaking to. She's not who she claimed to be. Go, what, what a surprise. Summon. Yeah. Uh, somebody's summoned death on themselves by doing it to you, Divine Feminine. I feel like this mother put herself on a pedestal. I think that she lied about you. Because she was uh, insecure or she was jealous of you, Divine Feminine, Fragment, um, your mom could have been sending some, some kind of mom energy to fragment your mind. Got some power. The six-year-old's got some power. So you've been a very powerful person since you've even been a child. Turns violent. Yeah, you could, your, your mom, I don't know, somebody could be um, ready to 302 your mother, actually. For somebody, your mother is, is cuckoo. I also think that your mom was doing spell work on you. This could have even been like since you were a child so that you didn't remember something. High Priestess of Water. You could be a water sign or she could. 15 or 4 could mean something. Rigid. Yeah, I just think your mom wanted you to, um, it feels like a life full of distraction and projection because there's something she didn't want you to remember about your childhood is what it feels like. Irish. I don't know if you're Irish or your mother is. Phone is tapped by feds. Your mother... Ooh. Or if your mom was connected to some kind of Irish mobsters. Tell me the true spirit. Is this mother Irish? No. Tell me the true spirit. Tell me the true. Is divine feminine Irish? Are you Irish? Let me ask you something. Because this, this feels like something how I was asking. I have blue eyes. Sometimes they're green and they change. And both of my parents have brown eyes. And I looked up the likeliness of having a child with blue eyes with two parents with dominant brown eyes. It's close to no. Um, you could come from an Irish background and, and be realizing that it, one, either your father is not your real father or both of your parents aren't. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is it this divine feminine Irish? Yep. Tell me the true spirit. Is her mother Irish? No. Tell me the true spirit. Is her father Irish? No. Tell me the true spirit. Are either one of these parents divine feminine's parents? All right. So this is the story that I've been picking up about being kidnapped. Your royal highness. You actually came from a family um, of bloodline. If, did you ever feel like you just didn't fit in with your family? Like, damn, it just seems like I'm always the outcast or now it's starting to make sense where they always seem like they were against me or jealous of me or I was always fighting with them. Like, it didn't just feel like family to you. Yeah. Your mom uh, assert, previously assert, your mom previously asserted herself into your life. You could have been kidnapped and that would be her asserting herself into your life. And, and you, you probably were supposed to have a whole different life. Somebody's mom's going to die because of this. Because she tried to, like, it's like she stole your destiny or something like that. By taking you from the family that you were too many. Yeah. Put graveyard dirt in your food. Brown hair wanted to torture you. Whatever. That ain't happening, you motherfuckers. Ain't nobody torturing nobody. Um, 
you were meant to be seen, whoever you are. You, you, um, you can feel that you were either not in the right family or that you were the complete opposite or that something just wasn't right with your family. Your mother's phone is tapped by feds. I gang stalk because I'm mad at the world week. That's how they make their money. So this is a gang stalker that's near you, I guess, whose phone is tapped by feds. They could be Irish. They got themselves caught up in some firearms. I just feel like this is multiple things coming out here. Tell me the truth. There's just, just one message here. All right, tell me, tell me. Can you guys just make it clear with the one message, please? Tell me the truth. Is that all right? So there's a Divine Feminine's mother. I feel like her karma is going to be death. For some of you, they are, she already died and you're not going to get this closure. So you're going to wind up getting it through the universe, I guess, through like people like me and other reputable tarot readers. I want to pull on this Irish person gang stalking who doesn't realize their phone is tapped. All right, let's find out who you are, Dingbat, right? I'm going to find out names and everything for you. If their phone's tapped by the feds, it's because they were going to do something real slimy to a divine feminine here. So let's expose them like we always do. So we, um, this person could be Irish. They could be. Uh, I don't know. Is this person connected to your mom, divine feminine? Please tell me that your mom didn't send somebody to do something dirty to you. Tell me the truth. The divine feminine mom. Is... All right, good. Because, I mean, nothing surprises me anymore. All right, let's pull on this person whose phone is tapped by the feds. Include, what's this? Equal exhibition counter is assert counter exhibition equal. So she's not your equal. You're, you're, maybe you never felt like... um or your mom never treated you like an equal divine feminine. I feel like there's going to be some of you guys that are going to start thinking about this and wondering like, how do I find out? Ask, ask the universe and your spirit guides to bring answers to you. If you feel like you were in the wrong family or that something just wasn't right. Like if you had a mom that never treated you as um, equal as like another sibling or your other siblings, there may be a possibility. It's not going to be for everybody though that there's some deep betrayal behind how you were brought into that family and it may not have been through her vaginal canal. Let's just keep going. All right, you never felt included or they didn't include you. So this is going to be for somebody who felt like you were always pushed aside or you were ignored or whatever like that and maybe it's because it's becoming more clear now that, oh, maybe and even some family members knew about this too, right? Because you know, if, if your mom did something like that, there's people that helped her. So the, the same people that helped her are probably the same people who felt like, that you had problems with in your family. It's just it's just logic, right? That's all we do around here. So let's just see. Resist. Um, resist. Anyway, let's just pull on this person. Let's just find out about this person, this gang stalker, this current gang stalker whose phone is tapped by the feds. All right. Uh, Leo, possibly. But that's with this person. This person came here to get even. Hmm? This person's getting breadcrumb. They need some things too. Scorpio, so they could it could be it could be two people, all right. But this person could have actually said that they were gonna kill you or something for some breadcrumbs. Hold on a second. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is this a gangster that said they would kill? Tell me the truth. Did they say they would kill? So somebody thought they were gonna kill you, divine feminine. For what? A taco or a bag of dope? You think it's a bag of dope? Me too. All right, let's find out what this person did then. Let's let's find out. Tell me about this gang stalker that's phone is tapped by the feds. They cry when no one is watching. Okay, so they're not tough. I mean, but that doesn't really mean that. I can't say that. But the thing is, is I feel like this person... They're, they're not happy with their life. I just feel like everything's coming to an end in their life, man. And it's because of how they showed up. It's because their pride and ego. If this isn't a Leo or a Scorpio or they have this highly aspected in their chart, um, wow. It's irresponsible, right. So they just live their life very irresponsibly and this is the outcome. Yeah, you're high vibing. And what's this? Insurance money. Uh-oh. 
Ah, this is somebody who was told that they would get a piece of some kind of life insurance money for killing you, Divine Feminine. I'm just going to say it how it is, okay? A Disney porn movie. Tell me the truth, spirit. Oh, boy. Yeah, get out of pocket and say some shit. Here's this. Whoever thinks they're going to kill a feminine for some insurance money? Yeah, hungry. This motherfucker could be hungry and shit. So, I don't know. I feel like somebody has no option. It's a, well, this, uh, drive, they drive a Nissan. What what a what a tra what a piece of trash, man. This mother is sick. So I don't know if this is your mother or this person could actually be a mother and you this is what you wanted to do. This is what you wanted to do, ma'am. You wanted to kill another female and you're a mother? Is that what you're trying to tell me, universe? Yep. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm so grateful that I started this channel exposing this shit with these insurance scams, gang stalkers, gang members, traffickers, rapists, murderers, because uh, it feels like somebody doesn't know all the information in the situation yet again. Let's get some, let's get some first initials, July. Something could have happened in July. Or your mother, this could even be your mother is sick, but she could have been, but something in about July. Let me see, skip July and skip hungry. <sighs> Give me again initial for this mother. W or S. That's the mother's first name. Sally? Is that why Sally popped up on there? Great conversation starters. I don't know. Somebody could have been like, or thought that they were going to befriend you or something to get near you. Is this mother's name Sally? Okay. There, there's a, there's a sick mother behind this, man. So this could be her child or something. W. It, it could be Sally and the last name could be could begin with a W. I don't know. It could be like Sally something. But let's just see. La. L.A. Something about L.A. Or that could be the beginning of someone's name, you know? La Latisha. La Nicole. <laughs> okay, that could be actually it. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is, is this a daughter of a sick mother? No, tell me the truth. Is this a son of a sick mother? Okay. Some things are better left to a professional, right? Not, not a, not a drug addict, gang stalker. Uh, I feel like, um, wow. Somebody's like a street walker that probably needed something and said, "I'll do it. I'll do it." Wow. Jesus Christ, standard. I mean, is this the stand logical, right? So these people aren't thinking logical. Like, you know, what, what do you think? How, what, you think it's just going to be easy to kill somebody? Really? I, I don't know. It must be the drugs. It has to be the drugs. I can't figure it out. I, I'm glad that I can't figure this out. 
S Same wavelength when you are in sync with someone. So these people aren't on the same wavelength as you. The damn. Okay, well that was pretty clear. Right, I was gonna say, because there's it the fact that the high vibe is here, right? These people don't know what that means, right? That means like somebody's aware, they can feel energy, they probably have some psychic abilities, they're very intuitive. Um they can see shit that you don't realize they see. And it this will never happen. The the shit'll never happen, man. Tell me more about this situation. Do tell. Somebody's unemployed, so it's like they have to do these things. Yeah, somebody's life just became... What what a sad life. When you're saying, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this to somebody because I fucked my life up. So let me take somebody else's life. Ancestors stepped in. Property or manager or landlord's wife. Again, what is it with these bitches, man? Well, what is it with these these wives of these dudes? I hear crows. Yep. So, whew. thank you, ancestors. Some of your family members teamed up. Damn. How do you guys feel about pranking people at their place of work? Pranking people at their place of work. So something could have happened at someone's job, or there's some people at a workplace that are getting exposed for wanting to kill a female. Because as they were promised some insurance money. And like, you know, you sat down on your couch and like my little finger came up. What what's up is is the um is me I don't know if the wife, the landlord or property manager's wife is the sick mother. Frank. Frank came out the other day, right? I'm the true spirit is sound. Wife. Okay, so Sal. Tell me the truth. Is Sally, the property manager's wife. All right. Somebody fuck boy. Um, whoever said that they would do this. Their phone is tapped by the feds. Whoever's currently thinking that they're going to do this to a female. Everything that they've been saying has been, been heard. Everything that they've been texting. Tell me more about this, please. Five or more kids. So you should be focused on your kids. Okay. Somebody got all kinds of kids. They got more kids. Uh, it's like a lady who lived in a Timberland booth where somebody got interrogated. They're about to get interrogated under pressure here. Yeah, with the feds. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody should have took a left instead of a right or vice versa because um, this was a choice somebody made to do this. Nobody was forced, right? So if these are drug addicts, if this person is not just junkie, the fact that they're a junkie is the reason that they said yes to this shit. So, you have kids and you think, what, your kids won't die? Because if you said you would kill somebody for this shit, for this breadcrumbing, one of your kids are going to die. One of your kids are going to die. I don't really feel like they care, though. Hmm? A tool? Tool? A strike and tool? Were they supposed to strike you with something? Were they going to hit you with something, Divine Feminine? What the fuck? What is this? Is this like... The land of the misfits. Yo, you hear that? If you came here, 48, 48. If you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Who came here to kill somebody, motherfucker? Oh, I feel like somebody's in complete shock. Hold on. Did somebody come here to kill another person? Fuck off. You're not killing nobody. Tell me the truth, Spirit. You were set up. <laughs> oh shit! You have more kids. This a lady lived in, in, lived in a, in a car hard boot, motherfuckers. That's what this is. So you see how my attitude changed? That's the kind of person it is. Forced to work in prostitution. Well, go suck a dick then. If you're forced to be a prostitute and you got five or more kids, oh my god, someone's life is like, oh universe, thank you for not giving me. This person's life. 
Let me guess, you thought the other person was a prostitute too, right? Let me guess, did you think the other person was a junkie too? It looks like someone was lied to. If you need the money so bad, go suck a dick, bitch. Because you ain't killing nobody. Oh my God, these people. Fast, you're fast, huh? Or somebody did something way too fast. Like, yep, I'll do it, no problem. Just give me whatever it is. Drugs, fucking ketamine, uh, fentanyl, trank, whatever it is, man. Go take your ass somewhere and get yourself treated. This shit is getting ridiculous. So, it, one of your kids is going to have something happen to them for you even saying yes to this shit. One of your kids is going to, uh, this is how it goes, man. This is just how it's going to go. I'm calling this shit out because it's like, I, I, I hesitate to say this shit because I know the shit that I said have, has actually happened and I got people fucked up because of it. But maybe this is the shit that has to happen, right? You wanted to take the life of someone else or even for some of you guys, your kids, your kid's going to die. You know, and then maybe this is how you'll learn the lesson. And somebody's a very jealous bitch here. Very jealous. Switch your phone carrier. Is this somebody that, um, maybe you did switch. Hold on. Tell me the truth. Spirit. Are you saying someone needs to switch their phone carrier? No. Tell me the truth. Are you saying someone did switch? Okay. So there's something here about, hold on. Tell me. I don't know. There's something here about a phone and then thinking that, um, oh, maybe that's how, all right. So whatever the phone carrier is, their phone, that the feds are in it through whatever carrier it is. Uh-oh. Is always sick. Poor me. This is a hypochondriac. Everything's happening to this bitch and nobody else. This is, this is somebody who always has a headache. They always have cramps. They always have back pain because they don't want to work. And they send her home. They, they've lost jobs because of this. It's because of this addiction, I'm sure. Dementia. Uh, always sick. And apparently this bitch forgets all the dirty shit that she's done, right? When she's interrogated, somebody going to have dementia like everybody else. But they can't get away with acting like they don't know because their phone has been tapped. Oh, bitch, you came for the right one this time. Let's get some never, ever, have I ever cards. Let's find out some personal shit about this chick. All right. Failed experiments. So whatever this was, it's an epic fail. Smile. <laughs> Smile. I guess that's for you, Divine Feminine. Smile because there's another one that, that couldn't complete this task of killing you, bitch. Okay? Retired, smile, and retired. Somebody could have smiled thinking that they were going to retire off of your death, Divine Feminine. Hold on. Shows up to Thanksgiving high. Yep, that's this chick. Is it a chick? Yeah. Is she by herself? No, she ain't by herself. So they're, they're, it's probably, tell me the truth, is it a couple? There, there's, a, there's a couple junkies, man. Uh, tell me the truth. Did they smile because they thought they were going to retire off some insurance money? Ooh, instead you're going to be retiring in jail. <laughs> oh my God, you people are such pieces of trash, man. You, you really are. You motherfuckers are just such pieces of trash. I don't know this person. I don't know that they got kids. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know what they've been through. I don't care because I'm going to kill this person for fuck. Get out of here, man. You, you, you so lucky that there's not a law that says, I whatever you were going to do to me, I can do to you. I mean, this, this what? Get, yeah, legal. Oh, that's an understatement. Let, get the, wipe these people off the planet. Whether they die or whether they go to prison, right? If they want to go to prison or jail, which is where these people are going, and they want to change, I'm always for that. But I just don't see people wanting to. So it's like just off them. <laughs> well, you're useless at this port or uh, point. Organ? Hold on. Hold on a second. Was this organ trafficking? Tell me the truth, spirit. Tell me the truth, spirit, please. Did they think they were going to get money off of the organs of this divine feminine? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my 
got card exchange and swap. Yeah, this is like credit card fraud, bank fraud, hacking. Oh my god, another one. Tell me about this 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 chick, man, who's just crazy. Tell me about this chick who's crazy. Classic, yeah, classic move. <laughs> classic move. Cold. Yeah, you're cold. You're a cold bitch. Jesus Christ, man. Let's just say this. How would you like it? If somebody was coming for your child and said, you know what? I'm going to put a life insurance policy on your kid. I know you don't know me, but I feel entitled to money off of your child's death. How would you feel about that? Miss Junkie of America, how would you feel about that? Classic. Uh, somebody's, somebody's, it doesn't matter. This is talking about admitting something. It doesn't matter if she admits she's going to be interrogated because they're watching her. And they're going to say, you better tell me the truth because we've been listening to everything that you've been saying. Uh-oh. My stomach's starting to get nervous. Somebody's nervous. Tell me more about this bitch here, please. Tell me. Been naked in my office. So this is just... We'll say promiscuous to keep it light, okay? This is somebody that's promiscuous. With five kids, I mean, I don't know. They could be there. Could be more than one father. Truth or lie? I just saw that this person chose is chose to be a liar in life. Truth or lie? Look, the kid. Look, what the fuck? One. Okay, I have to. I have to pick two play cards. One that I am guilty of, and one that I am not. The player to my left decides which is which, and if they are wrong, I get to win the guilty card, so I don't know, she likes to look, and bullshit, look at this, bullshit, everything about this bitch is bullshit, whatever, whatever she's going to use as an excuse, it's going to be bullshit, everything that comes out of her mouth is bullshit, everything that goes into her mouth has a ball sack attached to it, if you need money like that so, so bad, dear, go fuck somebody, all right? You're going to have to. I mean, you may be a prostitute in jail, prison, because that's where you're going for whatever this was you even said yes to. Uh, that's it. It's a wrap. Yeah, you're a dope fiend. You're a dope fiend. Look, did you say something? Huh? Bitch, yes. Yeah, we said you're going to prison, bitch. And maybe you can be a madam in prison. Uh, you know what just popped in my head? Do you remember I told you guys that they, um, they were talking about how in a lot of prisons, and one of them is in Jersey? that in the women's prison, there are men who are identifying as women. And these guys were serial rapists and serial killers, but because of the matrix and the system being so toxic, it's gonna work for you guys. And it's gonna work against these females. I told you these fucking females who were connected to dudes that have raped women, set women up. Why are you attacking another woman as a woman? Because you're sick and you're envious and you're jealous and you didn't do shit with your life. So when you see another woman who does something better than you, you immediately think attack. Well, you picked the wrong one this time. This time you pick somebody you can't fuck with. And so what's gonna happen with these females is, and it's sad, but they didn't think about this when, when they were connecting themselves to all this shit being done to other women. So this is what you get. Um, that they are gonna be serial rapists mixed in with women in prison because of a piece of paper that just says they identify. And there are women getting raped repeatedly and getting pregnant. This is called karma. And it is harsh sometimes, depending on what you've done in life. If you had to write down, ma'am, and that's me giving you a term you don't even deserve. If you had to write down the shit that you've done to people, this is where the dementia would come into play. But if they said, tell me a list of everything somebody's done to you that was unfair, she, she'd run out of pens. It's just this type of bitch. Gotta be tough. Well, we'll see how tough you are on the joint. We'll see. Somebody could have worked with your at your phone carrier and was fired or something like that. Um, this this chick or someone that they were connected to, I just saw no shame, right? Shameless bitch here. <sighs> Cold and shameless. I'm so scared. Well, now somebody's scared. Miracles are about to happen for those who are living right, and for those who weren't, I just explained something that's about to happen to some of these females that are going to go um, away. It puts the lotion in the basket and does what it's told. Buffalo Bill, motherfucker. 
whether that's her or the person that she's connected to. You you create you're going what 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 is wrong with people? Cuckoo. Yeah, they're they're both like this. Together. Well, you'll go to jail together. I just can't even like What happened to human beings? What happened? It's hard for me to have compassion. We're at an hour already. It's really hard for me to have compassion for people. If there was, hold on. Every person got dead quiet. I feel like somebody's dead quiet right now. But it's really hard for me to have compassion with, with this shit because there are other outlets, man, for, for this opiate shit. There are. And it's like free. You know, you get insurance, it's free. So you have a choice. And you chose this. So now, tell them what they won, Chuck. A stint is what you won, bitches. Hmm? Yeah, you wanted to be cold, then this is the thing. When you're cold like this, this is what you get back in life, right? So now, because you wanted to be that way, cool. But now you're gonna be in a prison where it's cold everywhere. Down to the bars and the flows and the people and you're gonna be right at home. Because that's how fucking cold you wanted to be, bitch. You can't be around us, us warm-blooded folk anymore. If you stand in a very normal way, that's not at all creepy and weird. Remember, this came out the other day and I posted it on my community board. So somebody's just weird, man. You can just look at somebody, whether it's both of these people. I feel like these are the types of people where, like, um, they're, like, under the L and shit like that. Like, uh... Like, you, you just look at these people and you're like, holy shit, like, keep my kids away from them. Like, you can just tell. You can read someone's energy. Social media. These people are going to be on social media or they're going to be... I don't know what these people did, but it, it's something's going to be public. You're like a banana and bacon sandwich. Intriguing, but kind of a disappointment, right? So that's all they are. They're just a disappointment. The disappointment in life. I, I, I mean, I don't know if they've achieved things before all this shit that they got into this this point of their life. I don't know if they've achieved much. Somebody is as good at achieving spreading your legs, but this is this is the shit that that makes me angry. When when there's five or more kids involved in a situation, and this is what you're doing with your life. So you want someone else to die so that you can take care of your kids, but you probably wouldn't even take care of your kids. This is probably a situation where some of them got taken, if not all of them got taken, or they're not being taken care of. So maybe these kids, this is like the universe going, now you're not going to fuck these kids up the way that you fucked yourself up. So we're going to put you both in prison. And we'll let the universe take care of your kids somehow. Replacement, yeah. So I'll say, somebody needs, a, these kids need a replacement mother and a replacement father. So... Let me get three letters. I'm going to close this out. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Give me three letters. R or P. Somebody could be Puerto Rican. Let me more. R, E. Rest. Let me more, please. L. R, E, L. L or L. Resolve, R E. Resolve. Let me see something here. Because I know all my, my uh, biggest fans around me are listening. Settle. Solve. Yeah, it's over. Reach a decision. Here's the decision. You're cuckoo. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, bitch. Let's find out what R E L is. Perception of time and distance by observers. Everyone is their own person. A variant of Ariel, Hebrew, mean lion, lion of God. Indicating a person or thing viewed as worthless. Uh-oh. Did they think that this divine feminine's life was worthless? 
that's how they view other people probably the truth spirit is this how these people view people as like worthless go fuck yourself it looks like you're the worthless one tell me the truth spirit are they actually worthless I can't imagine a better side hustle. I, I could have figured out a lot more than this. I mean, damn, there's a lot of shit you could have done besides wanting to kill somebody uh, for insurance money. But it looks like we know who the worthless ones are here. And we're not fucking going nowhere. Love you, Philly out.